When you collect me from the crematorium in a functional jar, my outcrops and noblets and angular rock. And we struck up a friendship and we ended up doing a couple of concerts together where I would sing my songs and Frank would read some of the poems. And at that point, uh, I thought it would be nice because I wanted to celebrate the, the work. I wanted to celebrate Frank's poems in some way. And I thought it would be nice to, to, to record Frank reading some of the work. And then the idea of writing these instrumentals came from there because they really spoke to me. Some of them, some of the poems really almost work as songs. They're very succinct and they're very direct and they have an emotional kind of a heft to them. So I was, I was interested in reflecting that. I mean, it's been a very enjoyable kind of experience where you find yourself reading a poem and then you're listening to the piece of music uh, that, that the poem inspired. And uh, you know, you're listening to somebody who's very much on the same wavelength as yourself, you know, producing something new and creative and imaginative from the poems. And I was quite interested in the fact that it was cross-platform, it was music and spoken word, kind of music and literature. And uh, I was encouraged to make uh, an application for an individual artist award, the SIAP award, which is, which is a lottery funded project. And, um, and I was lucky enough to get that, so that really helped with the costs of composing the pieces and getting them recorded. Uh, and it's, it's really been invaluable. The album, uh, these, are, these are based on instrumentals that I had written in response to the poems. And it also features, I, I wrote scores for uh, Neil Martin on cello and Lindley Hamilton on trumpet. So uh, it's acoustic guitar, trumpet and cello. And the format of the album is that Frank reads one of his poems and then it's followed by an instrumental inspired by that poem. And there's 11 poems and 11 instrumentals. And also with, with huge thanks to the Arts Council, they've, they've given some support to send the four of us, uh, the quartet, to Paris uh, for a gig at the, the Irish Centre, which I, I cannot wait for. Um, the format will be that we'll do uh, some selections from this album and a couple of other selections of our own work as well. And that will be a chance for us to because these were recorded separately, you know, the poems and then each of the musicians. So this will be a chance for us to play together on stage and I'm sure that, that's going to be fun. This is a premiere performance of Anthony's new work, Kiss of Light, um, that's going to be playing at the Centre Culturel Inondais in Paris on the 29th of March. And we're just so proud to be sending out such high, um, highly acclaimed musicians such as these four from Northern Ireland.